Hello, and welcome back to Tim's Brick Adventures. Today I thought I'd do a little small video on uh, my uh, bison or American buffalo. I get a lot of uh, questions about how did I make them? Can I buy them? All that good stuff. And so I thought I'd take a little time to show, a, go a little behind the scenes about them. Um, yes, I do sell them. I've got kits, or you can buy the instructions, and I'll talk a little bit about that. And but I just kind of wanted to show them off, and uh, I've kind of taken it to a whole new level, um, as you'll see here shortly. So with that, I'm gonna change things up, and we'll be back, and I'll tell you all about how I came up with these this particular build and how you can make some or get some yourself back in just a flash. Okay. Um, just to give a little background on them back in, I think 2016, I was working on this entire layout. And of course the bison or American Buffalo as they're known. Um, were very important to the Wild West and to a great many of the historical figures. And so I had been probably, honestly, for a year uh, researching online for pictures of anybody that had made some. And this piece right here, when I first, and I don't remember what original set it came in, but I saw that and I'm like, that would be perfect for a buffalo. And so, and then later I did find somebody else had used it. Now they turned theirs that way. But I thought after looking, I spent a lot of time looking at real buffalo as well. I thought it looked better going that way. And then I came up with the slope corners here i can't think what the actual lego name is but um so i came up with i had that in mind and i only really found a couple other people and they had longer legs now i will say the tail is not my original concept that i did get from one of the other people because i only found maybe two people that had them at the time now Several people since then over the years, and I don't know, partly they've seen mine in videos, have taken, and I've sold quite a few kits. So there's the instructions and these are out there that maybe they've built on it. I've seen some really good uh, renditions, some of them with a lot more pieces and more uh, actually down under bricks, I believe. And uh, a friend of mine named Woot, and I don't know, how, I don't want to butcher his last name, but Brick Tramp, he has a, he's a guy, he's got a layout twice the size of mine. And he has done, he made some really cool buffalo with a little bit longer legs. Because that was the thing, I wanted to try and figure out how to make them so they could run and that. I just never did. And so I kind of, I stayed on this and I tried to keep the scale about the size of the, to go with the horses. So... Um, now I grew up Western Kansas out on the plains. So I, uh, where I actually went to college, Fort Hayes, they have a live Buffalo herd over there. So I grew up, I had seen Buffalo. So I kind of had, you know, some knowledge prior to what they should be and how it was size and that kind of thing. So I, uh, I just kind of trial and error and this is the design I came up with. And so like I said, I'm not going to delve deep into it because I really, I've got plan, I've got the plans that you can purchase. And then I've also, I've got kits. Um, I made up fancy kits because I was going to try and put them in some retail locations and I may still be, still do that. Now, what's kind of cool, um, I only, as you can see here, there is a lot of variations as far as the color of their the shoulder here and the the top hump 
and then even and really though this part that's about it you got your dark brown and you got your reddish brown because and that's really buffalo that's all they came now there there is some that are really kind of darker and so i i utilized almost a black color i made one like that and i've actually he's pretty popular um and he looked you know nice that way um but as you can see i've got quite a few different i varied the the top of the hump i've even some of them mixed these little one by tiles in with the darker brown and that's kind of cool and you could because it kind of matches up with the body so it just makes it look like you know because that bu buffalo if you look at the real pictures of them this is all kind of a it's kind of it's hide but it's kind of a furry and they shed part of that off and stuff so it becomes discolored or different colors and so that's why it kind of works as well um i will say this horn um they were something that brick warrior sold um back at the time I was doing these and so I had picked up a bunch for just to buy but I don't believe you can any get these any longer like that but I have since they do have these rounded horns and I they still sell them um that I like but for the sake of selling the kits and keeping it 100% lego um I just been using the the horns these little that we got now and various colors you know there's probably white it'd be the the main one but like in this particular case now this white buffalo there was a charles bronson movie called white buffalo and so of course <laughs> me being the move western movie buff and all that i had to have my white buffalo now they just did start making this piece this wedge piece in pure white i made one originally i had to paint the dark tan white but i was very excited because now this is pure white didn't have to paint anything but that was my white buffalo and i've had a few people like that request that um as far as and here's what i would say if you really like this my, if you like what I've done with this, um, if you're going to build several, then it's worth maybe just buying my plans and getting the parts yourself. But I will say there's nothing, none, no uncommon parts in this. Um, it's just hard finding one or two BrickLink stores that have all the parts you need because there are quite a few parts um, once it gets down to it and so I've got quite a few you know I've bought a lot so I could put the kits together so that would be the plus to buying just ordering a kit from me um, and I'm not doing this video as a truly as a total sales piece so please don't think that but this is something I spent a year coming up with and several friends convinced me i ought to you know sell kits or sell the plans and stuff and so that's what i'm doing you know um every that's part of what a lot of people do and i'm just uh, trying to share something now i know the buffalo is kind of limited um to the western theme or so you would think <laughs> so that all being said when i right after i started showing um i've got a friend I got several friends that really like Star Wars. And so I got to thinking about it and we, we were doing a show together. And so for him, I, uh, I came up with the Stormtrooper Buffalo. And he actually, he took the one I originally made for him. He took and he knew about this part from the Brickhead Stormtrooper. And I thought that was great. So I started, I were, or incorporated that. But then I even got thinking about it further and I added the little, uh, gosh, my camera works terrible today. Uh, this little, uh, one of the little quarter pieces for the eyes and really, and then I even here recently, this is a new addition, adding the, the black in front there. Now I'm not sure um, if that's the greatest idea, but anyway, so I had, <laughs> 
I came up with my Stormtrooper Buffalo. So, uh, put the Stormtroopers on because, you know, the figures, they can, they can ride on them up here. So, <laughs> then, sitting there thinking about it, and I'm a big superhero person. And so then, I, I had seen the Green Lantern wedge i'm like hmm there's several others like that so i did the uh i did a green lantern and now i did you know batman there's the the blue and dark gray that he wears and then there's also the black and gray and i'm gonna make a black and gray because there's i think i have several wedges where the print the bat symbol is printed this one I had to use some stickers for them, but uh, I really liked the dark blue and the gray together, and I thought it was kind of a cool. So I did Superman or Batman, and here's my Superman. <laughs> Gave it a dark hair. <laughs> this color I I need to figure out if I can get a, the only wedge that was in the regular blue. The S is upside down, so it didn't work. So this came from, I think, a Supergirl, maybe, or some set. So I'm not, that looks kind of weird. And then I don't, they don't make, or I haven't been able to find just the small, the half wedge here to match that color. So I may look around for that. But that's my Superman, got the dark hair. Uh, what I use for the nose, they've got these in a whole lot of colors now. So it works out really well. Um, like I said, this, the, the light tan came out when I was actually working on this. So I was able to make that a little better. Um, sticking with DC, this is one of my favorites, the Joker. Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, you can kind of just, you know, knowing what the nice thing is, all these different slopes and tiles and stuff come in a just about all the colors. So, I mean, as your imagination, you could go crazy with them. Um, then I, my only Marvel one at the time right now, I, the classic Iron Man colors. And I need to, I don't know, it's really not a symbol for him, but I think everybody would recognize uh, Iron Man. And uh, I have others that I wanna do. Uh, I got some parts for Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Um, you know, I, I just have fun with them, you know, <laughs> and that's where the plan, you just buy the plans and, uh, then you can just order parts and all the stuff you want and just have all the fun you want. Um, so, uh, really that's, you know, like I said, there's a lot of creativity that you can utilize with these. Um, even if you don't do Wild West builds, you know, who knows, you know, Buffalo could be used in, you know, some other kind of crazy build, some kind of future, just, you know, fantasy build or whatever. And you could always probably modify different things and make different creatures out of them. So, uh, just something I was very, I'm very proud of and something that was a lot of work for me and, and then has been very, uh, gratifying to sell quite a few of the kits and have a lot of people really like what I've done with them. So, and this is the first time I've really shared the superhero, uh, ones I I've had them at a convention one time. I just had a couple of them. So I may start putting them all together. I could do a justice league and then I don't know. That's the thing. Marvel, there's a lot of them. I could do a Spider-Man and I probably will. It's a lot of it is with the superheroes trying to come up with the symbols, you know, on the chest and stuff. But where I make a lot of my own custom stickers and stuff, that wouldn't be too big a deal. Like Spider-Man, I could easily come up with something for that. So, you know, I'll watch out in the future and you may see more of them around. And like I said, I've got the kits and I'll put the link to reach out to me in the description and I'll put a link to also, if you want the plans, um, I can send you those too and the pricing and that kind of thing. Uh, and that's it for today. I appreciate it. Uh, as always, 
if you like like subscribe share um, I do now have the link in there where you can buy shirts and I've got stickers and and you know really you can put this design on anything you want if you really like my channel and want to support it more I greatly appreciate that so with that until next time I am going to get back to showing you how this goes together um, putting all the people and stuff so do come back and stay tuned for that thank you all and I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support.